this charming little Canada warbler is one of the last wood warblers to migrate to the driftless region now in spring migration. And that's no wonder, since they traveled a long way to get here. They winter way down in northern South America, as far south as Peru. And uh, this guy here is on his way to northern Minnesota or southern Canada, where they live in the boreal forest there during the nesting season. And uh, they'll pick out uh, kind of a thick understory near a bog or stream there. And they like mossy banks. Uh, that's where uh, they will nest. But uh, anyway, on this uh, Canada warbler, some things to look for. Uh, the males, like this one, wear a beautiful black beaded necklace. And he also has a very distinct light ring around his eye. So uh, watch for the Canada warblers again as they're passing through now. Uh, later in the month of May, they're going to be in usually uh, some understory vegetation uh, near water. If you happen to be out for a walk in a nice sunny open woodland now in late May, be on the lookout for this beautiful American lady butterfly. Uh, they will often be found near the host plant for their caterpillars, which is pussy toes. Pussy toes are those pretty little kind of white flowers, uh, fuzzy white flowers that look like a cat's paw. But uh, anyway, uh, the American lady looks very similar to the painted lady, but they are two different butterflies. The American lady is a resident butterfly. Uh, they uh, overwinter as a, a chrysalis, and then they emerge very early in the spring now uh, when the pussy toes are blooming. So that's where they lay their eggs. The painted lady, by the way, is not a resident butterfly. We have to wait for them to migrate here from southern states later in the year. So the chances uh, of uh, a butterfly that looks like this that you see now in May is more than likely going to be the American lady. You could tell for sure if you look uh, primarily at the underside of their wings, because from the top, the painted lady and the American lady look very similar. But on the bottom side of the wings, uh, the American lady, the ventral view, that is, the American lady will have uh, two big eye spots. The painted lady will have four or five. But uh, Watch for these beautiful American ladies out in the woods right now. If you are out hunting for morel mushrooms now in late May, you may just happen across this lovely little shoy orchis flower out in the woods. The shoy orchis, by the way, is an orchid. So uh, these are not very common flowers. Uh, all of our wild orchids here in Iowa uh, tend to be uh, uncommon or rare in part because they have very specific habitat requirements and partly because people uh, in the past have uh, dug them up and tried to transplant them in their yards, which never works. So uh, don't ever do that. If you see these orchids out in the woods, just enjoy them where they are. Uh, but this little shoy orchis here, as you can see, has some fairly wide oblong leaves there. Uh, and uh, the plant itself the, it only grows about six inches tall. Usually there'll be several little, again, kind of a, a purple and uh, white uh, flowers on, uh, on each stem there. Uh, but uh, they like nice, rich woods. So uh, yeah, if you happen to be out walking in a, a beautiful woodland now in uh, late May, again, uh, enjoy the shoy orchis where it grows if you see them there. 